Hi, my name is Brent Janorski, and I'm a senior solutions engineer with Couchbase. I'm here to talk to you today about Couchbase Capella, our database as a service offering. So Couchbase provides you with a myriad of deployment choices or options. When it's time to choose where to deploy the database, in other words, where do you want it physically running, there are some factors that you'll want to consider. The biggest is, I think, who do you want to manage, monitor, and administer it? Do you have the administration staff, the IT team to do that? Or do you want it hosted and managed on your behalf by Couchbase? Some of our customers today still prefer to remain on premise and manage the database themselves. And of course, that's fine. We will always support bare metal or VM installations on your own hardware. And that's where we got our start, of course. So you can download and install Couchbase on your own servers, again, bare metal or VMs, also on Docker containers uh, managed by Kubernetes. You have a lot of choices. But if you do choose to cloud, and this slide addresses that, the remaining question is, do you want to manage and administer the Couchbase database yourself? If you do so, that's what we call self-managed. And the main benefit you're obtaining from cloud in that case is that you've eased your burden of procuring, running, maintaining, powering, and cooling your own hardware, but you're still managing and administering the Couchbase database itself. Or do you want Couchbase to monitor and manage it for you? This is true database as a service or DBAS, and we call it Couchbase Capella. So in this diagram, we begin to delve into the Capella environment a bit more. On the left, an individual from your organization, perhaps someone from the DevOps team, would use the Capella UI, what we call a single pane of glass, to initially create the Couchbase database cluster. So she would need to simply specify a few details of what the organization's desired cluster should look like initially. For example, what cloud region should it be deployed in? How many physical server instances should it be comprised of? Which of the Couchbase services should be deployed for the project? As you recall, Couchbase is a multimodal database and it's capable of providing you with quite a bit of functionality. So what do you need at the project level? Is this a key value database only? Do you need full on SQL support for JSON? or perhaps even full text search, so on and so forth. So once those things are specified within about two to three minutes, that Couchbase database cluster will be deployed and from then on will be managed by Couchbase on your project's behalf. On the right side of this slide, you see someone from the development side of your organization who will build or has built applications that of course will need to connect to the Couchbase database in Capella. They will probably want to connect the VPC where the applications are running, if they're running in the cloud, with the Capella VPC, a process referred to as VPC peering. This will create a direct private connection between the customer managed applications and the Couchbase managed database cluster. Now, before I leave this slide, I would also note that if you're developing the application initially from a laptop on your desk, you can connect it to Capella much more simply by whitelisting the IP of your laptop with Capella. By default, a Capella cluster is not on the internet per se for security reasons, but it can be altered to receive a connection through this whitelisting process. So here's a much more detailed view of the Capella architecture. At the top of this slide, the UI or control plane that runs in any browser. And again, it's used to initially create and orchestrate the Couchbase database cluster. Down below here in the gray box is what we term the data plane. So this is a VPC created automatically in your specified region and here you see three Couchbase server instances running in the cluster, each within their own availability zone for high availability and resiliency purposes. 
So in other words, if you were to lose a complete availability zone, Couchbase will remain running and applications will not lose any access to any data. A few other things to point out in this diagram is how seriously we take security. Encryption is happening everywhere, whether it's data at rest in persistent storage, data that may be moving from one instance or node to another, and even backups, which are automatically taken on your behalf, those are also stored in encrypted form. I also like to point out that a custom AMI or OS image is laid down on each of these instances uh, that are running Couchbase. It's customized in that no extraneous software is running other than only what Couchbase database requires. And all unnecessary ports are closed down on each instance as well. In the upper right, you see an application connecting to Capella and all of that traffic is encrypted as well via a TLS encrypted connection. Now, by the way, this slide has a lot of AWS specific terminology. Um, it is definitely referring to an AWS implementation. So it's important to point out to the audience here that we also support Capella on Google Cloud and we will be announcing support for Azure as summer turns to autumn of 2022. Lastly, here's a glance at just what you're getting from DBAS, such as Capella. It's a quick look at how much Capella automates on behalf of the customer. So customers still have a few responsibilities, but they're all in the areas of you know, initial database and document design, specifying what user accounts there should be and granting roles and permissions to those users. But otherwise, practically everything else is provided by Couchbase in terms of uh, tracking node failovers, uh, restart environment. Thank you for your attention. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you. Thank you.